Hey everybody, hope everyone's having a great Easter. So I drove 1,000 miles to go pick this up. It was $10. There's one province over in San Juan, British Columbia. Actually, no, I, we were there for a visit with the in-laws. Uh, I happened to grab this from a trading post type of thing that was uh, on the side of the road. So I was wondering if this is going to be salvageable or for parts, because that's a big consideration. Well, for one thing, this was not together. I didn't worry about it. I don't know much about newer Husqvarna's. But this is a 575 XPG. This handle is for like Husqvarna 394, 395 with heated handles. So this is going for sale. This is going to go on if any subscribers want to buy this before I put it on eBay, let me know. The part number on it is 5034621. Made in Sweden, EM original, so it's a OEM part. Heated handles, I guess. I don't, know. I don't know much about that. But so that means this thing might just be parted out because I'm not sure if I want to mess around with um, <clears throat> trying to find all the parts for this. But we'll see. Um, sorry, the uh, washing machine's going. We do have to work tomorrow, so I'll get laundry done. And that happens to be in my work area in the basement here, so kind of shitty, but. It is what it is. So when I got home, I actually took the spark plug and just squirted this WD-40 down the board just in case stuff was seized. I didn't really want to turn it over. And that's called the air conductor and the starter. That's a little different with the starter. I wonder if the spring shot. There's a cord in there, okay. So the starter is probably salvageable and sellable. All this stuff might be up for sale, I'm not sure yet. Uh, we'll see how the next uh, few minutes go. It has a coil. Hmm. Wonder if I can see if it's on the spark. You might as well, eh? Let's pull it over with the impact driver or the drill. Drill will probably be better. Uh, I'm not wearing a hat, people are gonna think I'm bald. Anyway, so it turns over, which is good. Uh, I need a right adapter. Which of course is what it's supposed to be. It's kind of normal for me. Pause you guys for a second. Okay, welcome back. Found my adapter. Gonna see if this little guy has spark. What's it on? What's off? No, nope, choke's on. How is that? How the hell is this combo supposed to work? No, oh, there we go. Okay, I see. I see. So it should have power now. I don't like that they went to a switch kind of reminds me of steel. I don't like the steel switches. Just personal preference. Okay, does she have spark? She has spark. Nothing sounded really funky in there either. No. So, nothing sounds funky. That don't mean much. Uh, what do I need to get this off? I think it's just uh, 5 sixteenths or... I hope not, because that won't fit in there. They look like at one time they were Allen head. They're pretty rusty, but they should be. Maybe this guy's the right size. It is not the right size. Uh, why would everything be normal? Or the same? Too big. Oh, that's the right size. What size is that? See, five millimeter. Just don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break. Whatever. So, considering I only spent $10 Canadian on this thing, 
I think it's gonna be hard to lose because I mean that recoil is probably worth ten bucks. That uh, three ninety five handle, which no matter what will be for sale, will probably get me more than ten bucks. So I mean that alone. Good shape in case it's for sale. Good shield, no gasket. Now let's take a look and see what's inside of the engine, shall we? Oh yeah, she's cooked. Oh. That's kind of weird. It's like a chunk of the piston is missing. So that if you can see that the flashlight's dying, but that might have been the catastrophic failure that uh, caused it to go into the heat. But it doesn't mean this thing's not salvageable still. I mean, I'm still. Might sell some of it off. I've never been into one of these, so if I look like I don't know what I'm doing, that's because I don't. Really, really don't. So, screw it down there. I don't know, I might keep this myself but uh, if anyone needs parts let me know because I mean it might be a situation where I'll part it out if it's to, like a viewer or a subscriber uh, might not want to deal with eBay with it that's just it's kind of a weird setup on here with the how the boot is for the strato design Too important. Uh, crap. Uh, no, whatever. Let's just start. Let's start taking the part down. Maybe everything will just come off together. Maybe. That should probably come off. Let's hold this thing. That stupid blue thing there. What's what's going down here? Okay. So Little rubber tabs holding this air intake on. There we go. There's one. The other one's out. Uh, pull that out. A lot of electronic crap on here. The saw seems overly convoluted in design. Other side of that boot off. What the? Get the practice going on here. Yeah, that's important. Get 
tap these. There we go. Hmm. Weird design. Weird ass design. That off. It's impulse. There we go. No, the impulse is kind of stupid on that. Anyways, let's uh, without further ado, let's pull the cylinder off and see what the carnage is. One ring is frozen in the top of the cylinder. This has crank stuffers on it. That's interesting. some aluminum transfer on the cylinder, but this cylinder is actually perfectly salvageable. Piston, not so much. But that's also what happened to the chunks of piston, they just get blown up the exhaust. I don't see anything in the muffler. Huh. Maybe I'll pulverize and then spat out. And once you can see a little bit of debris at the top of the cylinder here. It's nothing crazy. This cylinder is fully, it's totally, I mean, there's transfer. Bring you guys in here. Bring you guys in. Okay, let's see if we can get some flashlight on the flashlight on. Yeah, you can see down there, that's uh, there's aluminum transfer, but that's not scoring, that's just transfer. And then the intake side is clean as can be. That's surprising. I'm actually really surprised. Just the way that piston looks, because that's the piston. Now I'm back to the dilemma of do I try to save this or not? Uh, so it's spark. I mean, you need to handle it a few other things, but. Uh, Maybe there's some crap down there. Maybe, maybe there's stuff down there. That's a full circle crank. That's kind of neat. Yeah, there's some crap under there. See, so either way, this thing will probably have to come apart. Oddly enough, the bearings seem fine. Which is very surprising. But this thing, nonetheless, left to come completely apart. Yeah, I can't, like, this thing's not that fucking bad off. Just need a handle and some other stuff. A lot of other stuff, actually, but, uh,. Sorry it's on the spin cycle, it's being loud again. But yeah, so this thing totally probably is salvageable. Uh, to an extent, I need a handle, which I don't know how to get a handle for. There's really nothing on eBay for these saws. Uh, piston I know I can get. Get a whole new cylinder if I want, but... Uh, yeah, that's unreal. Like, can't believe that cylinder is in such good shape. Anyways, that's it for today. I just wanted to go through this a little bit. But yeah, she's somewhat salvageable. I mean, I don't know. Like I said, if anyone of my subscribers is interested in parts, let me know because I'll, I'll probably just like go to somebody if you need parts. But uh, these bearings are tight and quiet. Unlike the washing machine. Uh, 
yeah. I think I'm gonna throw this into a box for now, but uh, I might slowly start uh, getting parts together. Why not, right? It's a 2005 saw. Yeah, like for some reason or whatever that piston grenade is like. I can't believe there's no carnage down in here. Anyways, take it easy. That's it for today. Enjoy your Easter. I'll talk to you guys later.